Pregnant at 17, high school dropout in the juvenile court system. I am defined by these stereotypes every single day I walk out of the safety of my home. Having to walk out of one culture into a completely new one and already categorized as a failure. I had a 34% chance of dropping out of high school as a Hispanic as of 2010. So at the age of 10, I was already told I wouldn't be making it very far based on something I never got to choose, my skin color and my ethnicity. Look at me now. Do I fit the stereotypes society has placed on Hispanics? Stereotypes placed in front of me like obstacles that I was meant to trip over and never stand up from. The consistent reminder that I am expected to fail and my future has already been decided. Now, when I was a little girl, my mom always told me what not to do. Not to act like a stereotype, not to dress like one, and to essentially be someone great in life. My first day of sixth grade, I was finally a teenager, excited to go to school and pursue my dream of an education. It was time to pick an elective, a musical elective. But as I would soon find out, an elective was not an option for me. I had already been prejudged and sent in a category as a student that needed extra academic help. I was confused. I thought about how the entire time in elementary school, I wasn't labeled as a struggling kid. What had brought me to be in this extra helping class? I mean, a little help wouldn't hurt. But was it my test scores? No, couldn't be. I had done great on those. My mom had told me. What about the fact that I'm Hispanic? Hmm. That had to be it. But I refused to accept that I had been placed in that class simply for being Hispanic. Instead, I went to that class every day with my homework already done and already graded, insisting that I did not need the help. Now, this wouldn't seem like a big deal to many people. But what it did to my already withering self-esteem was destroy every bit I had of it left. I was already an outcast, and now I wouldn't be able to participate in something the rest of my peers were doing. Something so simple as learning how to play a musical instrument. One day, my teacher did tell me that it must have been a mistake that I had been placed in that class. A great smile arose on my face, a smile that I had proved people wrong, a smile that I had contradicted the future people thought I had. I did not take my first breath into this life thinking I was meant to fail, thinking I was going to be cut short from opportunities simply because of the person I was born as. I have not been beaten by the many labels that I'm forced to walk around with. I'm in AP classes, and every day I work harder only to prove those wrong who have consistently told me no. I am not another number in society. I am a furious Hispanic with consistent challenges. I am a furious Hispanic with great dreams, great dreams to go to college in New York, major in political science, and give my parents the life they never had. But is that a realistic dream now, when I'm consistently shot down because of the way I look, or asked where I'm from because it is simply impossible to be from here because I'm so different? These stereotypes I wake up to every single day have broken me in unimaginable ways, yet made me stronger with every slur said about me. 831 per 100,000 Hispanics are incarcerated in the United States prisons. Was I meant to be here just to be another statistic? Another number in the prison system? No, I was meant to be here to pave a path not only for my siblings, but for every person with a dream. Stereotypes are not only labels, they are walls holding us back, oppressing us, and destroying me. My name is Sadie, I am not a high school dropout. I am not 17 and pregnant, I am a 4.0 student, and never fit into stereotypes. I am not another statistic. It is hard to stand up from every stereotype, but I will keep on standing and standing with grace until I know I have placed a smile on my parents' faces. My, pa my parents have sacrificed so much more than their own happiness for my success. Thank you.